Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. First of all, thanks to these people for supporting me on Patreon. Because of them, this tutorial became possible. Anyway, today we are going to create this. So let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it, 3D Text. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per seconds. Now create a new solid for our background. I am using a dark green color for it. You can choose any color you want. I suggest you search for the color combination on Google, for better color options. Anyway, make another solid, and call it lines, I am using a slightly lighter color, than our background color. Cool. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the Venetian blinds, we will use this one. Add this transition to the lines layer, and adjust a few settings. Change direction to 45 degrees. And change transition completion to 10%. Also, change the width to 15. And then you will have these nice looking lines. Make sure your layer is selected, and then go to the tools, and select ellipse tool. Double click on it, and it will apply a perfect ellipse onto your layer. Now press F, to open feather and change the feather value to 500 pixels. Let's make these lines area smaller, double click on any of the anchor points, hold Ctrl plus Shift, and make it smaller. Cool. This looks good to me. You can hide your mask visibility, by clicking on this icon. Perfect, our background design is complete, Let's add our text now. Go to the tools, and select text tool, and start typing your text. I am using a shade of yellow color, with a font size of 265 pixels. You can download this font from the link in the description. Perfect. Now select the move tool, and align your text to the center. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the transform effect. Under the distort, place this transform effect on the text. Now, change the skew value to negative 10, it will make your text to look like this. By the way, this step is optional, you can skip it if you want. Again go to the effects window, and search for the text bounce. Make sure, we are going to use under the text one. So add this onto your text layer, and your text should start animating. Perfect, but I want my text to appear from the bottom, so let's expand this text property, open text, and then animator 1. Here you will find this position. Now go to the beginning of the timeline, and change the position value, so that it will appear to the bottom. RAM preview this, and your animation will look like this. Let's change a few settings to make it same, as in our intro. Change, bounce character delay to 0.15. And change bounce decay to 35. Also, I am changing bounce frequency to 6. Play it, and your animation will look like this. So our text animation part is complete, let's make this text 3D. 
but first, right click on your text, and pre-compose it. I am calling it incoming, and make sure your, move all attribution into the new composition option is selected. And hit OK. Now, press P, to open position, press and hold ALT key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon. You have to paste this script here, you can find this script from the description. Now, make sure to click on this cube, to make it 3D. In case this cube is not visible, press F4 to switch it. Now we are going to make a lot of copies of this layer. And this script will automatically align these layers with different position, so it will look like 3D. I am going to make around 25 copies. Cool. But this text is not looking 3D, so let's fix it. Go to the layer, and create a new camera. I am going with the default settings. Now select this unified camera tool, and rotate your camera a little bit. Here you can see you have some 3D looking text. So keep it at the point where you can see the depth of it. Perfect, this looks good to me. But this text is flat, we cannot see the depth. Here is the solution. Select the top layer, and apply a fill effect to it. Now change the fill color to the same shade of the color, or any color that looks good with this. Perfect. Now, in case you want to change the color of your text, you don't have to apply a fill color on all layers, just open any of these compositions, select your text, and change any color you want. Or even you can change the text as well. Switch back to the main composition, and now you have to change the color of the top layer only. Let's choose the green color for it, and for the other layer, change it to dark green. Perfect. Now let's create a shadow. Select the bottom layer, Go to the effects and presets, and search for the CC Radial Fast Blur. Apply it on the layer, and place this center point to the corner of the text. Now again, search for the fill effect, and add it on the same layer. Change fill color to black color. and change zoom to brightest. I am increasing the blur amount to 80. RAM preview this. And our animation is complete. Now the final step. Let's animate our camera. Select your camera and press P to open position. Go to the first frame, and add a keyframe to the position. Now go to the end frame where your animation is complete. Press C to select the camera tool, and keep pressing C, until you get the unified camera tool. Now click and drag the mouse button to rotate the camera. In case your project is showing the result very slow, you can switch the quality to half. And it will be faster. Perfect. Now our camera is animating. But we also want to animate our background with it, so scroll down to the lines layer, and make it 3D as well. It will start reacting with the camera. One problem you can face here, is the sharp edges of this line layer. But no problem, we are fixing this. We can resolve this issue just by scaling down the size of the mask. In case your edges are showing from the top, then decrease the height of the mask from the top, until the edge is not visible anymore. Here you go, our animation is complete, 
and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.